Nikki Tutorials hasn't been getting as many views lately and she's been hitting a little bit of a creative block, but she's also complaining a little bit. So today we're gonna kind of unpack that and see if there's some mental health tips that might be able to help you as well. What is up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So, a little bit of a fair warning, all right? Tough Love Chris is gonna come out for this video, but it is all from a place of compassion and I've been where Nikki Tutorials is, Kind of, I'm not a makeup artist. But anyways, speaking of tough love, did you see this brand new beautiful design that my lovely girlfriend designed? Yeah, and by the way, again, right now, if you order a t-shirt or a sweater, you get the copy of Rewire Your Anger for free, baby. So go get that. And with the coupon code SOLUTION, you get 10% off. All right, so anyways, with this Nikki Tutorials video, we're gonna be talking about a few different topics, all right? We're gonna be talking about locus of control, which plays into anxiety and depression a little bit. We're gonna be talking about stubbornness, and we're also gonna be talking about creative blocks, all right? So anyways, this was kind of recommended to me by one of my amazing subscribers, Sabi Lou, and she also recommended I check out Rich Lux's video. So I'm gonna talk about Rich Lux's video in a minute, but yeah, so those of you who aren't in the makeup beauty guru, atmosphere type deal. What happened was Nikki Tutorials, she is one of the old school beauty gurus and she recently did like, uh, kind of like Vlogmas, but it's like this winter type series and she's not getting that many views. So she recorded a Snapchat story that looked like this. Why is Snapchat so zoomed in on that new iPhone? Like, why are you so close to my face anyways? Um, I feel like my last three videos have been flying under the radar I feel like nobody's getting notifications I feel like YouTube is keeping like the videos away from my subscribers and honestly it's been the most devastating thing ever I just want my videos to be seen you know when I do my videos I pour so much what is on my eye is that my glasses <gasps> they're dirty you know my channel has you know, even when a video isn't doing all that well, it has a standard. And I am way below that standard right now for no reason. I feel like all three of them were good videos. So I'm like, what, what is going on? And it's so, you know, it kills your motivation. It kills your mood. It kills wanting to do more. I'm in the middle of winter Wonder Week and I feel like nobody even knows that I'm doing Winter Wonder Week. Today I wanted to film um, the Bob Ross, following a Bob Ross a painting tutorial on my face because that got requested um, when I did the Grinch look. But at this point I'm like, well when I do that I want people to see it and it not flying under the radar again. It's just, it's so fucking devastating. And it makes me sad. So yeah, while it is true, while it is true that YouTube doesn't have the best notifications, what we're gonna talk about right now is locus of control, all right? So there's an internal locus of control and external locus of control. Some of you who have been around for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those of you who don't. So an external locus of control is the idea that I don't have control over the outcomes in my life, right? It all depends on other people. So like Nikki's a great example. She's talking about how she's not getting views because of YouTube, okay? I'm not saying that she's wrong. Everybody and their mom knows that YouTube does not give you all the notifications that you should. I never get notifications and I have a lot of notification bells turned on. But what I'll show you as an example of an internal locus of control is what Rich Lux says when talking about this topic. What are some ways you can do to get people to watch your videos if they're not getting notifications? And I was the one that raised my hand and I said, well, you post your video, if you feel like notifications aren't going out, you go to Twitter and you say, hey, I posted the video, and then you post the video link, and then you get on Snapchat and you're like, hey guys, just post this video, swipe up. Then you go on Instagram and you're like, hey guys, post this video, swipe up. Then you go on Facebook, you're like, I posted this video, if anyone's still alive over here, check it out. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you gotta hit all the platforms 
let people know because not everybody just hanging out on YouTube, you know, they're doing other stuff. All right, so study after study has proven that people with an internal locus of control have less anxiety and less depression because in their mind, they're in more control of the outcomes that happen in their life. So I can definitely relate to Rich Lux. Like, my YouTube channel didn't start growing until I quit complaining about YouTube, until I quit complaining about the algorithm, until I quit complaining about the viewers, until I quit complaining about what they wanted and all these other things. So like what Rich said, like all of you, like follow me on social media. By the way, did you know the only Christmas present I want from you is to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram? So go follow me at The Rewired Soul, okay? But. The other thing is, if you wanna get notified about my videos, because I know that you don't always get notified, right? So I post it on my Twitter, I post it on my Instagram, I share it in our Discord server, sometimes I share it in our Facebook group as well, but if you're following me on ever, other avenues of uh, social media, you'll always know when my videos come out. So what Rich is saying is like, Nikki should be doing all these other things. Like as a YouTuber, as a creator, we have to be our own marketing person as well. And we need to push our content out because if the YouTube algorithm isn't doing it for us, we need to take back that control and do it. So this then leads into the kind of stubbornness that we're gonna talk about. Now, this is not, this is not unique to Nikki Tutorials. I've been noticing it a lot lately and I was actually thinking about talking about it with Lily Singh, but if you know what's going on with Lily Singh, you can relate it to what's going on with Nikki Tutorials. So this is something that not only does Nikki Tutorials struggle with or Lily Singh or some of the old school YouTubers, this is something I also see in business. I see it in different industries on a regular basis. Like times are changing, times are constantly changing so what somebody pointed out to Nikki tutorials was that they just weren't interested in some of the videos that she was making like they said like I did get notified but I didn't want to watch and Nikki actually got a little bit of self-awareness and this is why we need to keep people around who tell us what we need to hear and not what we want to hear so Nikki replied with thank you Jennifer I definitely uh, get what you're saying it's hard finding a balance to please as many uh, of my followers as possible I feel like every look has been done and explained but your advice is definitely something I'll remember so I'm going to talk about that in a minute again with the creative blocks that a lot of people struggle with but here's the thing that youtubers need to start understanding but also different industries need to start understanding is that it's not about what we want to do it's about what you all want right so i need to make videos about what you all want like some of you who have been subscribed since i was like way smaller earlier this year you saw that my channel kind of changed something that i realized is that you are not going to youtube to be entertained by typing in depression all right, so what I'm doing is I'm pulling in topics that you're already familiar with to teach you about mental health. Now, I'm not saying that's what Nikki Tutorial should do, but we need to realize how the algorithm is changing, what the style of YouTube is doing. But to put this in more um, like terms that, or like an, an analogy that you might understand, is like think about business owners who are doing their marketing. Like it's 2018, like does anybody want direct mail advertisements? Like do you just love, are you excited to go to your mailbox and get ads in your mail? No, of course not. Do you like telemarketers? Are you the one person on the earth who likes telemarketers? Of course you're not, all right? So what businesses need to start doing is realizing that times have changed and they need to adjust to do that instead of being stubborn. So many people are stuck in that old way of thinking. I know a lot of people who are holding themselves back because they won't adapt and change to what, what people want nowadays, right? Like. The internet is where everybody is. People are on Facebook, people are on Instagram, people are on Twitter, people are on YouTube. You know what I mean? So like if I were to go out, if I was starting a business right now and I went to the yellow pages and bought an ad in there, like when's like, I know some people still use that, but like a way better way of doing that is on social media. So what I'm saying is, is that creators out there need to realize that they're being stubborn because a lot of them with that external locus of control combined with being stubborn, nothing's gonna change and they're gonna stay in that pit, right? Because a lot of people, what a lot of people do is they romanticize the old days. This is one of the reasons why I love Gary Vaynerchuk, right? Because he talks about how like we have to change with the times. We have to look at where the intention is. Like is the attention in the yellow pages right now or is it on social media, right? So with, with the beauty gurus, right, they have to look at what the new trends are, what people are looking at. How are they liking this? 
You know what I'm saying? So you gotta look at what's happening on the platform now and what works and kind of gear it towards that way. But any of you out there, if you're a creative or if you're a business owner, or even if you're an employee and you wanna like toss around new ideas, and this goes into the topic of creativity, like look at where attention is at today in 2018, not 2012, not 2013, all right? Where's the attention at today? I'm eventually gonna make a video about Shane Dawson because you've seen how Shane has changed his style of video and he's still capturing attention. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is creative blocks. Like a lot of people ask me, you know, how do I make so many videos? Where do my ideas come from? Well, one of them is because I always remember like what my passion is, right? My passion isn't getting subscribers. My passion isn't making money. My passion is helping people with their mental health, right? And and we gotta look about at this, like when it comes to like teachers or doctors or mental health professionals, everybody got into this for a certain reason. Okay, and maybe somebody like Nikki Tutorial, she wanted to be creative and help people with their makeup and all of that. Like um, the, the person who tweeted at her originally said they liked when she did like thrift store hauls and you know how to do creative things with that. And like we have to listen to what people want. So this is more crea creative stuff for like YouTubers real quick, but like something that I do, I'm constantly reading your comments. I'm constantly looking and seeing what you guys are doing on Twitter and everything like that. Like, where is your attention? What do you like, right? I look and do research of other channels who are kind of in my realm. What are they doing? What's working? What's not? I analyze my own videos and say, what's working? What's not? So like, I know when a video is going to do well, right? I know for a fact. Then I know when I'm doing other videos that aren't going to do as well because the algorithm isn't going to push them out. So like, I, I also try to find different topics that I'm going to like doing and enjoy doing, right? Like yesterday, I made a video just about borderline personality disorder. Didn't know if the algorithm was going to pick that up, but that idea was in my head. I knew a lot of people would enjoy it, even if it didn't push it out to new subscribers. And one thing that I know a lot of YouTubers struggle with is they're constantly trying to grow rather than focusing on the audience that they already have. Like what got their audience there in the first place? You know what I mean? But for all of you out there, if you are any type of creative, like research, 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 talk to other creators, talk to um, you know the fans of the work, right? Like I, I love when you all like um, follow me on Instagram and your artist, or like if you want to, like down in the comments, if you're an artist on Instagram, put your Instagram in there. Like I love following all of you artists. Like Tristan's an amazing artist. Like I just love art, right? So like. Look and see what your audience likes, see what styles they like and all of that. So if you're a creative type person, like you gotta start thinking out of the box and you gotta start finding things that inspire you, okay? Like you don't have to do what everybody else is doing, like find your own way, but that'll help you get out of that creative block, all right? But I would love to hear from all of you, what helps you get out of creative block? Let me know down in the comments below, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And make sure that you stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing some videos with my psychologist mama while she's in town, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.